What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video on tic-tac-toe tutorials on Python. Well, in the last two videos, we made two functions. One is print board and input board. We are going to be using print board to print our tic-tac-toe board and we are going to be using input board to input a value to our tic-tac-toe board. Okay, the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to make a winning case. Like we are going to make a function which is going to check for wins and it's going to return true only if if any player wins okay so before getting started with our program let me just uh, make an overview let me just tell you the overview we're going to check for four cases uh, one is going to be vertical win one is going to be horizontal win and the other two are going to be right and left diagonal wins yeah so let me make a function called check win and I'm going to pass current board here. Yeah. And okay, so we're just going to get started with the horizontal win. Mm -hmm. So uh, for row in current board, it's going to pick every row and uh, okay uh, let me make another function here i'm going to say define all same it's going to return if all the elements in a row is same uh current list and it's going to say and we're going to write if current list dot count yeah current list at zeroth position is equals to the length of current list and current list and current list at zeroth position is not equal to zero well this is because we don't want to get uh, a winning case only even if uh, the board is empty right because in empty in an empty board there are only zeros and if it's if you're not checking for this case it's going to return win it's going to say win even if no player won actually i'm going to say, uh, okay so i'm going to say true return true else return false yeah okay, okay so here we are going to say if all underscore same and we're going to pass row it's going to sprint player row at zeroth position player number is going to be row at zeroth position is the winner and it's going to then return true yeah okay uh, okay now to check this uh, let's just take this control x i'm going to say control c or control x it's fine control v control s you're going to test it in another file and here i'm going to copy this control v okay now we need to run this function too i'm going to say if check when at board is true then it's going to print found winner else it's going to say nobody won one okay cool uh, i'm going to run this okay so right now using at this board nobody has one uh what if i just update this to one sorry one comma one mm -hmm one okay 
now moving to run it's it's returning player one is the winner which is true by horizontal uh let's check for this two i'm going to say two two comma two comma two and let's just not do this okay control s and control b now player two is the winner cool so horizontal horizontal win is working um let's get let's now moving on to the vertical win i'm going to say a vertical win now for that <clears throat> i'm going to run uh, for i in range of the size of board and for j in range for the size of board okay um uh, see what i'm going to do is i'm going to let's say if i is going to range from 0 1 and 2 i is going to go for 0 and 1 and 2 delete that uh, here i'm going to say val underscore v to an empty list and uh, i'm going to append yeah i'm going to use append and say current board at j comma i yeah oh okay now okay if check when okay if all same sorry all same uh, at val v then it's going to say print um, player val underscore v zero position is the winner and we are going to return true okay so let me just explain what happened here see we are what we are doing to what we are doing is we are making a, uh, an empty list and we are let's say i is going to be zero here let's for the first case i is going to be zero and j is going to range from zero one and two it's going to range from zero to two so uh well uh this append function is going to add every element uh it's going to add uh, the element at zeroth position from every row to this val v to, to this list val v and then we are going to check if all the elements are same and if that is true it's going to say player dash is the winner that's how it's basically working uh, now let's check this okay i'm going to say let me just upgrade, upgrade this mm, zero control b nobody won now i'm going to go for one one and one okay control b now player one is the winner and it found the winner okay so vertical win is also working now i hope you understand what i meant now moving on to the diagonal wins there are going to be two cases here first is going to be left diagonal i'm going to just diagonal win and here it's going to be left diagonal okay uh so for left diagonal see we are going to go for the same we are going to say val underscore ld for left diagonal and we're going to initialize it to an empty empty list and then we're going to run a for loop for i in range and uh, size of current board it's going to append underscore ld append mm, current board at i comma i so because in the left angle that's how it's going to be it's going to go for zero zero one one and two two that's all okay so it's going to append this to the val underscore ld and then we're going to just we're just going to check if all the elements are same all same val underscore ld uh, val underscore ld and then it's going to print okay let me just copy this uh, 
and we are going to say val underscore ld cool we're done mm, what else what else do we need to do uh, let's check this left angle first uh, okay let's go for left angle 1 it's going to be 2 uh, remove this 0 so here is a see our board has a left angle win and let's check if the program returns the same control s control b okay so it says player one is the winner and found winner okay so left diagonal is working let's try it again with the player two not going to make any difference mm, one okay so it shows it uh, the left diagonal win is working cool now moving on to the right diagonal win right diagonal So we're going to make another empty list, val underscore rd, and uh, for k in range, length of current board, and for l in range, length of current board, if uh, okay so for this uh, for the right angle we need to go for 2 comma 0 uh, 1 comma 1 and 0 comma 2 right yeah okay so for that I'm going to put up a condition mm, k plus l k plus k plus l is equals to the length of current board and val underscore l r d dot append current board at at uh, k comma l k comma l okay mm, i guess that's going to work i'm go I'm going to now i'm going to say if all underscore same and uh, well rd okay then it's going to do this uh cool well rd control s control hmm yo that's pretty much all we want i'm going to say one one and let's just make this zero comma zero Control S, so it's a. Uh, it's going to show when only if the right diagonal program is working. Control S, Control B. Okay, so it says nobody won. Okay. Hmm. What's happening here? Right diagonal. Uh, for k in range uh, okay so at 2 comma 0 2 plus 0 is going to be 2 and length of board is 3 right okay, so I'm going to say minus 1 yeah control s and control v okay so it's working finally Mm, okay till this video we have completed our print function and input function and we've checked for winning cases now uh, In the next video, we are going to be bringing all of this together and hopefully we will be completing our tic-tac-toe game I'll be uploading the next video very soon. So wait for that and till then peace out